In this video, we're assessing the mortality of nematodes due to different concentrations of a therapeutic drug. Each row represents the result of an experiment with a batch of about 100 nematodes, recording the number that are alive or dead after a specific period. And these are for different concentrations of the drug recorded in column A directly as percentages of a standard concentration of that drug. We also record in column B the logarithm to base 10 of that concentration. We aim to calculate the LC50 value, that is the drug concentration that will kill 50% of the nematodes. And to do that, we will be using the logistic function logit p and also the probit function. The important point in this analysis is that the proportion of dead nematodes, the mortality, is limited by the values of 0 and 1, whereas the possible values of the log of a concentration have no limits in either direction along this x-axis. So if we plot mortality against the log of the concentration, we're likely to get a curve of this form, which is called a sigmoid curve. And if we wish to use the mathematics of the best fit straight line somewhere in the middle here to get a best estimate of the 50% value, then we will have to use some form of linearization for this curve. And that is the reason we'll be using logit p and probit p. So we start in E2 by calculating the proportion of dead nematodes, which is going to be equal to the actual number that have died, and then divided by the total in the batch, which will be equal to the number that are alive, plus those that have died, giving a proportion of 0 0.010. We will copy this proportion calculation to calculate the proportions at each of these concentrations, and we see the proportion goes from somewhere near 0 up to 1. So we will be looking for the point at which this proportion crosses the 0.5 mark. And because of the large uncertainties, either where, where you have a very small number of dead worms or a very small number of live worms, we will only use the three data values in the middle of this range. We will also perform a small correction for the proportion to correct for the number of nematodes that might die independently of the drug. So our corrected proportion then will be given by the observed proportion minus the proportion at zero concentration and then divided by one minus the proportion at zero concentration. And as we're making reference to the zero concentration value, we must put a dollar sign in front of the 2 for E2 to lock the row and we can copy that correction down for these three data values. In order to linearize this data we will start with the logit function which is given by the natural logarithm of the proportion divided by 1 minus that proportion a value of minus 1.10. We can copy the formula down to repeat the calculation for the other three data values. If we now plot these logit values on a y-axis against the logarithm of the concentrations on the x-axis, we have the three data points and the value of logit for a proportion of 0.5 or 50% is zero. So the 
LC50 value we're looking for is given by the intercept of the best fit straight line through these data points as it crosses the zero axis on this graph. We can either do that graphically or we can use a best fit straight line for that calculation, in which case we start with the slope and this is of the log it values in y against the logarithm of the concentrations and we're going to put dollar signs in front of the column references for the concentration because we will be copying this formula to a different column. We can do the same for the intercept of the best fit straight line. So we've got slope and intercept and the test value for the intercept is going to be zero. So we can rearrange the equation of the straight line to get the value of x on the x-axis for the intercept, which would be equal to the value of y for the intercept, which we know is zero, minus the intercept value, and then divided by the slope of the line, giving a value on this x-axis for the logarithm of the concentration of 1.017 so that we can then calculate the actual percentage concentration by taking the inverse log which is 10 to the power of this value which then gives an LC50 of in this case 10.4 percent of the standard concentration of this therapeutic drug. We can now repeat this equation, but now we will use the probit function, which can be calculated in Excel, although this was often done using tables of standard values. But in Excel, we can calculate it as being equal to 5 plus, and we take the inverse of the standard normal distribution. So that's norm S inverse of the actual probability. And we will copy this down. We can now plot the values of the probit function against the log of the concentration on an xy graph, given the graph that we have here. And we see that for a proportion of 0.5, the probit function returns a value of 5. So if we wish to identify the LC50 from this graph, we would have to look for the intercept of this best fit straight line crossing the probit value of 5, as in this graph. And as with the log it function, we can use the mathematics of the straight line for this. And all we need to do is to copy the calculations that we have done for log it into probit. Instead of a test value of 0, we need to enter a test value of 5 for the probit function. And we now see that we get very similar results for the best fit value for the logarithm of the concentration and within one decimal place giving the same LC50 value.